The Hardanger Super Match event in Norway is less than 24 hours away. John Brzezink vs Engin Terzi is going to be the main event. Welcome to the video Arm Wrestling fans, I'm Pradeep from Arm Wrestling News. So the event will be live on Facebook on pay per view. $5 I think is the price. I'll link it in the description. You should definitely purchase it. And the super matches will be in this order. And I would say that it is a great super match card, but it is under promoted. Especially when John vs Engin is the highlight main event. So the matches are Sondre vs Kristaps, Zillan vs Adelina, Nisa vs Sandra, Frodo Hogland vs Niazi Kurt, Vios vs Vladislavs, John vs Engin. So let's quickly discuss the top 3 matches. Frodo Hogland vs Niazi Kurt from Turkey. Engin Terzi knows Niazi better than anyone else I would say. And Engin firmly believes that Niazi is going to win this match. He has said that publicly. Engin gives his opinions very clearly whenever he thinks that he knows about a situation. So really hard to go against Engin but we have to understand that Niazi is coming off a 11 year break I think and Engin told us that he trained for this match only for 2 months. Will it be enough? I don't think so. Frodo Hogland is an endurance warrior. Niazi Kurt may be strong enough still to top roll him a couple of times but to do that 3 times in sequence is going to be really difficult especially when you are coming off a 11 year break. It reduces your arm wrestling endurance. So I believe that Niazi Kurt will be gassed out in that match after getting 1 or 2 pins and the final score will be 3-2 in favor of Frodo Hogland. Vyos vs Vladislavs Krasovskis. So they have faced each other. I was able to find only one super match between them and Vyos was winning that match. But we have seen that Vladislavs is really really growing at a very fast pace and he's only 24, 25 I think. He's very young, 25 years old maybe. So I'm assuming, I'm just guessing, I do not know that. I'm assuming that Vyos is a little bit older than Vladislavs and Vladislavs in last 3-4 years since they faced each other had more room to grow because of his age and I think Vladislavs should be the favorite in this match because of his recent dominance at world stage. Otherwise I'm just guessing. These are just guesses. Not much knowledge about the other guy. So John Brzezink vs Engin Terzi. Engin Terzi has been openly saying that he cannot win this match. So if the guy himself does not have faith in himself winning I am no one to have faith in Engin Terzi winning. So the prediction will be a clear 3-0 for John Brzezink. It is a 5 round super match. And there are reasons that Engin Terzi has given why he thinks his chances are slim to none in this super match. Reason number one being that he had a bicep tear at the first East vs West event against Arthur Makarov. He was winning that match but unfortunately he had a bicep tear so he was recovering Towards the end he was saying that he may be 100% by the time the John Brzezink match arrives. But then he was struck by Covid. It was really hard for him. So about a month gone there and after that he had some issues with his back. So everything was not falling in place for Engin Terzi and the biggest reason is that John Brzezink is a goat and he's also about 15-16 kilos heavier than Engin Terzi. So right now people are wondering whether anyone under 100 kilos can beat John or not. And Engin being 15-16 kilos lighter than John, I don't think he has much chances. So again please buy the pay per view from the link in the description. And YouTube has given me stories now because I reached 10,000 subscribers. So look out for those stories, I will definitely be utilizing them. I'm not a big fan of shorts but stories is something that I can definitely use in my opinion. Thank you and bye bye.